There really aren't that many people who can be spoken about by just one name, with millions of people instantly knowing exactly who you're talking about. When it comes to Olympic athletes and men's skating, mention this one name and you'll bring a smile from coast to coast in Canada and with millions of fans around the world. Elvis. Yes, Elvis Stoiko, the seven-time Canadian champion, two-time Olympic medalist, and three-time world champion. Elvis knows firsthand what it's like to compete on the world stage and knows how critically important it is to be healthy to win. Believe it or not, it's been over 10 years since I last skated in the 2002 Olympics in Salt Lake City. Well, I'm 10 years older, and I like to think 20 years wiser. I work out daily, I still train, I watch what I eat, and for the past three years, I've been drinking special water from Japan. For years, I'd been buying bottled water. I carry it with me in the car, to the rink, to the gym, to the office, and now to the racetrack. No, not to bet on the horses, I've been racing carts on the pro circuit. A good friend told me that the bottled water I was buying was actually acidic and not as good for me as I thought. I wasn't sure what he meant, but he's a smart guy, so I was a bit curious and wanted to learn more. He told me about a special machine from Japan that a friend of his had in his kitchen and how it changes tap water into really healthy, great tasting water filled with antioxidant power and a lot of people said they were sleeping better, their skin and hair was looking nicer, they had more energy, and how for athletes, this water helped offset the buildup of lactic acid so they recovered quicker and had more endurance. He said I should try it. Now you know, I get approached with a lot of new products all the time, so I'm always a bit skeptical, eh? Because many products are just not what they're cracked up to be. So when he started telling me that the machine changed the molecular structure of the water, I was starting to think he was full of it. I thought, come on, water is water, right? Well, it turns out that all water is not the same. This technology is used at hospitals, restaurants, and homes throughout Japan. This machine is classified as a medical device in Japan and is manufactured in a certified factory. I've traveled to Japan many times. In fact, one of my Olympic medals was at the 1998 Winter Olympics in Nagano, Japan. I've always been very impressed with their culture, their ingenuity, and their health. For a month, I lived with a family in Japan and they were so warm and kind and I learned so much about their respect and family values. According to the United Nations, Japan ranks up there as one of the healthiest populations in the world. And as a country, they have the longest life expectancy. They're number one. Canada is number 11. The US is number 38. The human body is made up of over 70% water and most of us just don't drink enough of it. For many people, their daily diet consists of fast food, processed foods, and soft drinks. The only time some of them drink water is to swallow their prescription medication. We're overfed and undernourished. The adult population, and even more concerning to me, our children, are facing record amounts of obesity, diabetes, and related problems. So what's different in Japan? Well, many experts think diet and water play an important role. When I heard that this machine was from Japan, the company was almost 40 years old and the founder was an incredibly healthy, energetic visionary in his 70s. I wanted to learn more. Then I started thinking. For the past few years, I've been really into racing. I don't put regular gas in my race car. I use high octane race gas. It runs better and the engine lasts longer. If you eat a lot of junk food, you're going to feel it. There's cheap wine and really good wine. So it was starting to make sense that there could be different qualities of water. The bottled water industry has invested billions of dollars trying to convince us that bottled water is better than tap. The environmentalists are telling us that plastic bottles are clogging our landfills and other studies warn that plastic used in some of these bottles may be linked to cancer. In Canada, more and more laws are being passed against bottled water. It's confusing. So what do you do? Well, you try to keep an open mind. A couple of years ago, I was up at the CNE. That's a huge annual exhibition in Toronto. It's two weeks long and thousands and thousands of people attend. We were skating two shows a day. It was a tough schedule. After the 10th day, my legs were killing me. My physiotherapist, Jason, stepped up and said, Elvis, why don't you try the water? So I thought, what did I have to lose? It was just water. What if it could provide some relief? 
that are health to lots of people just by changing the water they drink. Was that possible? So we called Alan, who brought me a couple of gallons of 9.0. I started drinking it. I didn't know how or why, but I started feeling better. My legs loosened up, and I skated eight more days, 16 more shows, and I've been drinking Kangen water ever since. So is my wife, a lot of our friends, and our dogs. They love it. When I travel, I always try to take one of my machines with me. Some people have asked, if the water's so special, why isn't it bottled and sold in stores? Well, there's a simple explanation. The unique properties of the water only last about two days. After a couple of days, the oxidation reduction potential of the water has diminished. So to get the full benefit of the water, you really need to drink it fresh from the machine. The machine makes seven different types of water. That's right, seven. We've only briefly talked about one of them, but wait till you hear about how horses, dogs, and cats have been responding to the water, how restaurants and hotels are using two of the waters for eco-friendly cleaning, sanitizing, and reducing their chemical footprint and making their food taste better. I've invited someone to join us today to show you how the machine works and explain those seven different types of water. His name is Bob Gridelli. Hey, Bobby, thanks for coming. Thanks, Elvis. I've always wanted to say this. Elvis is back in the building. So hey, thanks for that amazing explanation about Kangen water, but it's one thing for people to hear about it, but it's another thing for them to see the actual properties of the water. So don't skate off. I'm gonna have you help me show the people the amazing properties of Kangen water. Okay, so the first property we're gonna talk about today and show them a visual is the antioxidant uh, property of Kangen water. Mm -hmm. So the potential to reduce oxidation instead of causing oxidation. And we get to show them with a little meter called the pinpoint ORP meter. I'm gonna let you hold that. All right. All right. And what this does, everything, you understand everything has energy, right? And so what we can measure in all of these liquids here are the voltage, and this measures in millivolts. So we can either get a positive reading, which means something's oxidizing to the body, or if we get a negative reading, that means something is an antioxidant or the potential to reduce oxidation. Mm -hmm. So you ready to show them out there? Let's do it. All right, let's go. So the first one we're gonna test is Dasani water, product of Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. You probably have that in Canada, right? We've got that in Canada. So let's just, we're gonna see a reading that comes on this meter. There's no positive symbol, but if there's no uh, negative symbol, that means it's a positive reading. What are we getting on the Dasani water? Average around 250 to now it's up to 270. We're gonna go right into Aquafina product of uh, Pepsi Cola. Yeah, that jumped up over over 300. Over 300? Yeah. Okay. How about Arrowhead Sparkling? That one jumped, that's over 400. Okay, positive 400. How about sports drinks? Jumped down a little bit, but it's average about 350, 340. Okay. Yeah, positive, yeah. And let's try sodas. 360. 360? Yep, positive. Okay, positive, all positive reading. And this here is a tap water? Tap water. Yep. That jumped up to 390. Okay. And now we're going to go, uh, the tap water that was run through the machine just about 30 minutes ago turned into Kangen water. Yep, and it's gone negative 380, 360, 34, 500, and it keeps going down. I think you can see based on all the waters that we tested, every one of these is what? It's oxidizing. Oxidizing or aging, right? Mm -hmm. Speeding up that process. I think you can see the Kangen water is the only one that has the potential to reduce oxidation in the body. So I think you understand that's why you've been drinking the Kangen water for two years, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So now everyone got to see the first property to Kangen water. Elvis, you ready to show them the second property of Kangen water? I'm ready. Okay. So let's Grab this pH chart there. I'm going to let okay. you hold that for us. All right. uh, I'll explain it to you and everybody else out there. The pH chart goes from, this is, shows the acid alkaline balance. So it goes from 0 to 14, 7 being neutral. Anything below 7 is on the acidic side. Anything above 7 is on the alkaline side. Mm -hmm. You ready? Ready. Well, let's show them. So we have some food grade pH drops, and pH stands for potential hydrogen. And so we can test all these liquids. Let's just start with a few drops in Dasani water, to Aquafina, to sparkling, to the sports drinks, to soda, tap water, and then right to the Kangen water. So hold that pH chart up there and we can kind of see, take a look at the, how about Dasani water? Where is that on the chart? 
Yeah, near the near the bottom of the acidic. Acidic side, right? Okay. How about the arrowhead water? That's even more. Very acidic, right? Yep. Yep. How about the sparkling water? It's about the same, right at very, the bottom. Very, very acidic. And how about the Gatorade, or made by Gatorade, Propel? Yeah, almost identical. Extremely acidic. And now going to the soda. Acidic again. Also extremely acidic. And let's test tap water. Yeah, right in the middle, neutral. Right, right around neutral. Tap water is always going to be neutral to slightly uh, alkaline based on the city. You know, they put different things in the water from chlorine to fluoride to lye in the water. Mm -hmm. Most of them use lye, which is a pH of 14. That's how they raise the pH of the public water source. If it were acidic like these, it would rust the city pipes. Mm -hmm. So that's why our tap water will always start there. Let's go to the Congan water. Looks like my shirt. Star of the show. <laughs> looks, looks like, like my shirt. Look like your shirt. <laughs> so, very, we took tap water, ran it through the machine, and with a touch of a button, we transform, we separate the alkaline minerals from the acidic minerals, and now we end up with the second property, very unique to Kangen water, which is that it's very alkaline and alkalizing to the body. So, watch what happens when we add a little bit of Kangen water to some of these beverages here. Notice how we can change from an acidic state to an alkaline state just with a few drops. If I don't get too messy here. That's pretty amazing how that works. Now watch what happens when we do the Gatorade and then the soda. No change, right? So that's because they're extremely acidic. The tap water changed right away. So these are so acidic that we can't even neutralize it with the Kangen water uh, like we could the Dasani Aquafina and the tap water. So Elvis, as you can see, second property of Kangen water is that it's very alkaline, right? Mm -hmm. Very alkaline. So uh, acidic things, not really good for the body. Mm -hmm. the acid, sickness, alkaline equal health. So I think everyone can see out there based on the second property of the water, which water that we want to put in our body. Absolutely. So number one choice, Kangen water. Elvis, are you ready to show them the third property of Kangen water? All right, let's do it. Okay, we're going to start with a simple uh, tea bag. So, how do you uh, how do you make tea at home? Well, basically, you boil water, and okay. you put the tea bag in the uh, in the water, and you let it sit for a little while, so that it pulls so, out all the uh, all the the herbs and everything right out of the tea bag. Right, you got to heat the water. Yeah. So we just have room temperature water. Notice. Not much tea coming out, right? No, no. So watch what happens when we add the Kangen water. What are we getting? Oh yeah. It's Instant cool. tea, right? Yep. So the Kangen water third property is micro clustering of the molecules. So regular water groups together in clusters, much larger clusters. The Kangen water, when we electrically charge the water, yeah. we can break down those clusters into smaller clusters and call it micro clustered water. So watch what happens. We can keep getting one cup after the other. I can make about 20 cups of tea with the Kangen water. So everyone understands back to the tap water. Struggling to make tea, right? Mm. Now watch what happens when we go back to uh, Kangen water. Instant tea again. That's phenomenal. Understand the micro clustering of the molecules? Yep. So imagine the body too the cells of the body. Which water is going to hydrate the body better, get into the cells, carry waste products out of the cells, mm -hmm. which is a micro-clustered water. Watch what happens. We'll do, we'll do, we'll make one more. How about that? So if you want to have a tea party, you can save money with Kangen water. You can make about 20 cups of tea. Now, I'm going to show you something else that I learned in uh, Singapore. Okay. Of all places. I'm going to take what's left of this tea bag right here, and we're just going to squeeze out, if I can get enough there, just a few drops in each glass. Close enough, right? Okay. Okay, we're going to add some tap water to that little bit of tea that's there. Not much tea, right? No. Watch what happens when we add the Kangen micro clustered water. Wow. <laughs> Full cup of tea. Now this would definitely work with coffee. Absolutely. On our restaurant DVD, we have four restaurant owners and one of them talks about how he uses half the amount of coffee 
with the Kage water, as I think you can understand why based on seeing that. Mm -hmm. Another one of the restaurant owners talks about he uses specialty teas, and he uses half the amount of those teas, so he's saving money in his restaurant of, of the teas using half the amount. So that's actually the third property of the Kangen water, the microclustering of the molecules. So I think you can see based on even that property of the water, especially as an athlete, it's all about hydration and what? Well, it really helps through the cell, cell network, being able to flush the cells out, uh, absorb the water quicker, um, and be able to you know, flush out lactic acid and all, all those uh, impurities after training. So it may, it's really, really beneficial. Exactly. So I understand why you've been using it for two years. <laughs> All right. Elvis, you ready to show them another unique property of the Kangen water? All right. Let's see the next one. So remember, Elvis talked about making seven different kinds of water. So we just showed you the Kangen water for drinking the three unique properties. But two of those waters are, of course, the 2.5 pH water, the strong acidic water, and the high pH water, the 11.5 pH water. So one's used for sterilizing and one's used for cleaning. But since there's no harmful chemicals in there, we would just use salt, electricity, and water. That means we can also do something else with those waters, and that is clean our produce. So how do you clean your produce at home? Uh, usually either put it under tap water. Sometimes you can buy some other type of cleaning agent to, to clean them off from any of the pesticides or any of the dirt that you have on them. All right, so we're just going to take some tomatoes that I just bought at the store on the way in here. These uh, Nature Sweet Tomatoes, and we're going to do how you said. And now most people do this at home. Also, most restaurants do this. You know, they just clean the produce in the tap water. So we're going to soak those tomatoes in tap water. And then we're going to take, I already made some, the high pH water, which is the strong Kangen water. It's a pH of about 11.5 could be 11 pH to about 11.5, and we're going to soak those there. Okay, and while those just soak for a minute, we're going to take some, I have sesame oil with me today, and we're going to take a little sesame oil, put it in two cups. This is kind of just going to show people what's, we're going to simulate with the sesame oil what's happening with the tomatoes so they can understand what's going on uh, as we do this. So what happens when you mix water and oil? They don't mix. <laughs> All right. Basic science, right? You take tap water, add it to oil, and let's see what happens. They should separate. Just like usual, right? Yep. Uh, the water is separating, the oil is floating to the top. Watch what happens when we take the high pH Kangen water. And immediately, what happened to the water? Oh, it emulsified. Right. We broke down oil with water. So now I think people can understand out there how you can use that water for cleaning. So as a degreaser, I mean, I've taken spots, I've taken blood out of things, I've taken wine out of carpets. I don't know about you, but I've seen many cases with that water as, as a degreaser. So watch what's happening when we, now we'll take these tomatoes, and that's the one soaking in the tap water. And this has been soaking in the 11.5, right? Mm -hmm. Big difference, right? Huge difference. You can see all the chemicals and pesticides and everything that was on the tomatoes all pulled out and is sitting in the water. Right, so we thought we cleaned the produce with tap water, but just like it can't break down the oil, it doesn't have the ability to break down the oil-based herbicides and pesticides that they put on a lot of the produce. So let's go ahead and do a taste test. Okay. Are you game? I'm game. All right. All right. I'll even try this. Pretty good tomato? Yeah, it's good. Now, I didn't used to like tomatoes. Okay. <laughs> I think you'll understand why. That's a different taste for sure. It's, there's like a film. You can even feel it on the top of the, um, outside of the skin of the tomato. There's a film on it. I even have an aftertaste in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. So, which tomatoes would you rather eat? Oh, absolutely, that one. Absolutely. Now I, I think you understand why thousands of restaurants in Japan are using this technology. I think you can understand how people can become more eco-friendly. They can reduce the chemical footprint mm -hmm. and make their produce even taste better, right? Yeah, absolutely. So Elvis, now that we showed them all the unique properties of Kangen water, let's show everybody how the machine works. Okay. All right. And how we make the waters. So with a touch of a button, we can transform ordinary tap water uh, by electrically charging the water. So first of all, we're filtering the water. 
and we have a unique double carbon antibacterial filter where the water passes through first. And then inside of the machine, we have what's called an electrolysis chamber. And so there's seven medical grade titanium plates that are double dipped in platinum for conductivity. And that's actually the most unique part of this technology. It's actually what makes this technology do what it does and create those seven unique properties to Congan water. So let me just show you how it kind of works. We simply, water, as you can see, it talks to you. Yep. <laughs> and so we're taking ordinary tap water, we're running it through the machine, we're electrically charging the water, and we actually split. Notice there's two waters coming out at once. Yes. So we're separating the alkaline minerals from the acidic minerals, the negative ions from the positive ions, and in that process of ionization is how we create all those unique properties to Kangen water that we showed everyone just a little while ago. Mm -hmm. So, with the touch Kangen of a button. Water, 8.5. Kangen water, 9.0. Kangen water, 9.5. Those are the three levels of the Kangen water for drinking. Mm -hmm. So we showed them one of them today, which was the 9.5. Yes. So we can change that level to a lower level, 8.5, 9, and 9.5. Just it's recommended people start on 8.5 as they get adjusted to the water, depending on how toxic someone might be or acidic, and then move up to 9.0, and then finally 9.5. So everybody's body's a little different, so they'll kind of move at their own pace to get to the, eventually to the 9.5. Clean water. Just filtered water. So if someone's on prescription medication, it's recommended they take the medication with just filtered water. It hasn't been ionized. Mm -hmm. Because as everyone saw, because of the microclustering of the molecules, like the tea came out of there really quick. So if someone were to take prescription medication. It would amplify it. Exactly. So it's going to make whatever you take with Kangen water better, faster, stronger. In regards to like nutritional supplements, you may take a lot of those or green drinks. Vitamins or like spirulina or even anything, superfoods. Exactly. Yeah. Superfoods, you want to take it with Kangen water because what do you want? You want to take, get all the nutrients out of that as best possible and get into your cell, cell network. Exactly. You want better absorption. So take that with the Kangen water. Those will work better. The next water. Beauty water. Beauty water. Everybody, especially the ladies out there, are, you know, want to look more beautiful, right? So women buy toners, some men do too, mm -hmm. uh, to tighten, tone, and soften the skin. And uh, guess what? You don't have to buy toners anymore. With a touch of a button, we simply make our own toners with beauty water. It simply changes the pH, slightly acidic. It acts as an astringent to tighten, tone, and soften the skin. So people can make their own toners right here from the comfort of their kitchen. Strong acidic water. So remember the two waters we just showed a little while ago mm -hmm. there? Yep. The strong acid water for sterilizing and disinfecting, which uh, that's a water they've been using in hospitals in Japan for over 30 years. So that's how you make the strong acid water. Just touch that button right there. In here, there's a little salt tank. Because remember I said earlier, to make those two waters, you add salt, electricity, and water. And that's also how we make the 11.5, because remember, we're splitting. We're making one alkaline water, one acidic water. So when you press the 2.5 button, the opposite is the 11.5, and that's what we showed everyone how we clean the produce. Mm -hmm. So imagine you can have those two waters, and you now can get rid of every chemical cleaner in your home. Mm -hmm. You know, the harmful chemical toxins that are actually, you know, harming people from breathing those chemical toxins. So with those two waters, you can go green, and uh, just use those now for cleaning your entire home like I do at my home, I'm sure like you do, right? Mm -hmm. And well, you I can make the water this, exactly the same time. So the 2.5 comes out of the one hose and the 11.5 comes out of the uh, top hose. Exactly. Yeah. This is the only machine to receive the gold seal, the WQA, Water Quality Association, under NSF standards. That's why you're starting to see our technology in restaurants and spas in commercial use. Mm -hmm. So I think like you, like me, I want the best for my health, right? For sure. And I think they do out there too. Bobby, thanks for that demonstration. It really helps explain some of the special properties of this water. I'm just glad I had an open mind and was willing to try it. Now I want more people to learn about this amazing machine. What do you have to lose? Do yourself and your loved ones a favor. Try the water. Just try the water. Talk to the person who gave you this video and they'll help you get some free water. Drink it, share it with your family, give some to your pets, 
read Dr. McKnight's book, ask questions, see for yourself. Just have an open mind and an open mouth. It really is the right thing to do. And now that Enagic has offices across the US and for my Canadian friends, Vancouver and the new office in Toronto, and they keep opening offices in other countries around the world. If you know people anywhere, this is the perfect time to try some Kong and water. This is Elvis Stoiko saying thanks Bobby, Dr. McKnight, Stan, Jason, and thank you Enagic.